First, I'm proud to be joined by Catherine Cortez Masto, head of the DSCC, who did such a great job running the DSCC. And the two of us are proud to be joined by the majority makers, <laughs> these six fine folks have put us in the majority. Each of them is a fine human being. I got to know each of them as we went through all the campaigns, except for Alex, and I got to know him afterwards. He didn't have a campaign. And each of them will really be outstanding senators. And as a, major as a Democratic majority with this, the greatest economic crisis since the New Deal 75 years ago, the greatest uh, health crisis in 100 years since the Spanish pandemic flu, and all the other problems America faces, including strength, we have to restore our democracy and strengthen it, these six will play a vital role. Not simply in giving us the votes to be in the majority, but also, more importantly, because they're each going to do very, very good things for their states and for the country. First, Speaker Pelosi will determine when she will send the articles over. Uh, Leader McConnell and I are trying to come up with a bipartisan agreement on how to conduct the trial, but make no mistake about it, there will be a trial, there will be a vote up or down on whether to convict the president, I believe he should be convicted. And uh, we'll have to wait till she sends the articles over to uh, figure out how to do all that. In terms, in terms of nominations, look, as I said, we have the greatest health care crisis in 100 years, the greatest economic crisis in 75 years, and the national security of America is always at stake. To leave these seats vacant does a disservice to America. We're very pleased that last night we got bipartisan cooperation. I'm sorry, this mask is pulled down. We got bipartisan cooperation so that Avril Haynes is now the DNI. We're hopeful we can get the same bipartisan co cooperation for Treasury, State, Homeland Security, and Defense very soon. Uh, we need these positions filled quickly. We need our Republican colleagues to cooperate. I remind them that when President Trump took office on his first day, Democrats cooperated and the Secretary of Defense and Homeland Security were in place. And 